Hey guys, what's going on? Computer Plus here. I'm going to give you guys a review slash overview video of the Monster Monster Inspiration Passive Noise Isolation over the year headphones. I need to say active again. Okay, I need to get on the line. But these are the Monster Inspiration Passive Noise Isolation over the year headphones. Basically, a review of them. You know, telling you guys about them, about my experience. You know, so let's get to it. So as you can see, the headphones itself um, coming at I will say coming at ninety nine dollars to two hundred and fifty dollars respectively. These headphones are a beast when it comes to sound quality, design, and longevity. Literally, the reason why I said ninety nine dollars to Two hundred and fifty dollars because of the price tag that I, you know, bought these at. I bought these for pretty much ninety nine dollars. It was a steal. I will put a link in the description so you guys can get a good deal of it. Um, but from ninety nine dollars to two hundred fifty dollars, these headphones are pretty good, pretty pretty good. On the top, you got the Monster logo. These are a these are replaceable bands, so you know, won't really get into that because not a lot of people would actually buy the bands. They're like thirty dollars a pop, so yeah. The monster logo on the side, stainless steel, um, stainless steel on the side running from here across the band. But these are, I have a feeling that these are titanium, or brushed, brushed titanium out there. I'll say, not stainless steel, brushed titanium. Um, so yeah. As you can see, the overall design of the headphones. This a little bit more. Got soft padding at the top, and the same padding at the top is pretty much found in the cups below, but with a lot more soft than the cups. But I think they're the same. They're the same. These are synthetic leather, so they're not real leather. The band is real leather, but these are synthetic leathers. So you know, be aware of that. If you're not a fan of real leather, or whatever the case may be, on the inside of the cup, let me see if we could get the flash going for you guys. On the inside of the cup, they are sewn in, sewn into the um, cups itself, so the pattern is just sewn in, instead of bonded like the JBL J88s. So pretty much expect the longevity of these cups right here, instead of you know being um popped out or pretty much being, you know like starting to come out, and you start to see a sponge and everything. So yeah, so the hinge and hinges of these are titanium hinges, so these are really sturdy and like as I said, longevity. Well, real longevity, like literally. Titanium hinges. Titanium hinges again. Not that much to say about this headphone because I did. Because you know they're pretty much your basic pair of headphones that are extremely expensive, but they are extremely good at the end of the day. Um, oh, I forgot. Forty millimeter drivers, so they're not fifty millimeter drivers after all. Forty millimeter drivers encased in a fifty millimeter cup, with um the monster precision um engine um drivers in there, so it provides the deepest bass and the extreme clarity of sound. They didn't tell you that it provides very very high um treble but it didn't tell you that but i guess you'll figure it out yourself they come the best thing about these is that it comes with two 3.5 millimeter jacks instead of pretty much a proprietary like the jbls come with a um a sort of a mic which pretty much uses as a passive noise so it pretty much blocks all sounds as you can see on both sides which i really think is cool you know, so we call this the, they call it Daisy Sharon, you know, of course we call it different names, call it the Five Train or whatever we call it. Put that aside right there, and we have the cables, which this is the um, inline cable, this is the universal inline cable. You know, so you have your universal inline cable with the, one a single button click on the mic, and that's about it, 3.5 to 3.5 flat cable design. And we have the Apple Talk, 
app control talk, which is a 3 by 5 3 by 5 millimeter design with the volume up and volume down buttons and a mic and a talk button. And then we have the regular flat 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter um, flat cable design, inline mic, inline cable. So it's pretty much no mic, it's just a regular cable. One thing I realized about these headphones is that if you were supposed to um, receive a call and normally when you receive a call, you'll use the flat cable, not really the inline cable. If you're supposed to use a call and you're using the regular cable, which has no mic, you won't be able to answer the call even though you're trying to talk through your phone speaker, your phone's microphone. It forces you to use the universal or Apple Talk cable, literally. Because I remember back then I had a conversation. I was um just pretty much playing game and then my girl called me out of nowhere and she said she couldn't hear anything when I had the flat regular cable in. So I was pretty much forced to put the universal cable in. You know, so pretty much that's it. So um Longevity these headphones, they're pretty good. They're decent enough to actually travel with. They're type, you know, weighty. They have a pack, they have they do pack a weight to it, so expect that. The case, as you guys can see, the monster case, of course. You know, it's built for strength. It will fall, it will take a punch. It, you can't run it, you can't put a truck over this, but then again, it is strong enough. You know, if you do drop it, it, it does provide a bounce. I think it fell on the carpet and it did provide a little bounce, but I guess you'll say that shock resistant. It is a good case, though. Big, big step up from the JBL J88. So, thoughts on these. The sound are extremely good. Bass are really deep. Clamping force is extremely good. Noise isolation is really good. You could burn them in for 15 minutes and you get the best of sounds. The clarity is extremely clear, but the treble is annoying. The treble is extremely high for some reason, extremely high. It's actually deafening if you're not used to it. So I prefer, I'll pretty much suggest you turn it down or use a equalizer settings that doesn't have too much treble in it because these provide the best, the, the highest of treble, you know? So if you're supposed to have a low quality MP3 um, file, these will bring out the best in the mp3 even though it's low quality so that's the best thing i have about these headphones but the treble is extremely high and it's deafening a lot of people is deafening but you know overall great sound quality great build quality um let me see you know they don't they of course titanium on the side you know but that's about it they don't have any um number and so you have to count your clicks basically so basically that's it you know my thoughts on these are pretty good headphones starting at 99 dollars to 250 dollars i'll provide a link for 99 dollars in the description check it out you know so what are your comments on this do you like it is it a step up from the jbl j88 you know what videos you like to see next comment share like and subscribe and you know check out my business email in the description box peace out guys